Hello, I'm David Petruno, the Drunken Woodworker, and welcome to a special year-end edition of the weekly woodworking wrap-up review. And that is good. All right, 2014 has been an amazing year. What a crazy, crazy year. I would say it's the best year of my life, hands down without a doubt. I started making these weekly wrap up shows of January 8th of this year and now we're up to 50 episodes. That is crazy. 50 episodes in one year. It started off as a silly little show with 700 subscribers and now I'm up to 42,000 subscribers. What a crazy year. Thank you guys so much. So let's get this started by talking about some of my accomplishments. As I mentioned, I got 42,000 YouTube subscribers. That is just mind blowing. I got a new website out earlier this year with downloadable plans and tutorials. In June, I was able to quit my job of nine years as a web developer to do this full time. Amazing, amazing. 2014 was so, so good. Uh, I had an article published in Wood Magazine. I believe it was in the October issue. And some of you might not know this. I think this is the first time me mentioning this on uh, on the show is I have a book deal with Springhouse Press and I have a book coming out in August of 2015 all about bandsaw boxes, new designs and step-by-step -step tutorials on how to make them. So that is so cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm, it's, it's, uh, we're working on it right now and it's, it's, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Um, I also started an audio podcast with my good buddies Bob Cleggett from I Like to Make Stuff and Jimmy DiResta. I got my first sponsorships this year from the good folks from Microjig and Carhartt. And I made lots and lots and lots of new woodworking maker friends. Uh, you guys, so many of you inspire me. That's why I do the show to so we can all look at the videos and all be inspired and all learn. And uh, many of you, many, many of you have inspired me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I should also mention I got married this year. So let's talk about some of my favorite moments of 2014. And this has to be the funniest and most treasured moment for me. Here's Jay Bates mocking me and the wrap up show in this video. Check it out. Hello, I am Jay Bates, your host, and welcome to another weekly episode of Jay's Video Vlog Video, where I talk about useless nonsense that really has no impact on the world. Today, I am drinking a bottle of Niagara Natural Spring Water from the Protected Springs of Wildwood, Florida, and we all pretty much know that's bullshit because all this stuff comes from the tap. I'm also drinking it out of my Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede mug that I got from Pigeon Forge. It's a boot mug, and you probably don't have one. Good stuff. I got my beautifully crafted, mass-produced boot mug in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee on my honeymoon, which is actually a great segue into the first topic today, which is David Picciuto from the DrunkenWoodworker.com announced that him and his lady friend are tying the knot, and I don't mean in any little Boy Scout way. They are getting married, so congratulations, David. That's an awesome thing to happen in life, and I wish you the best. Good stuff. Good stuff, Jay. That's really good. That was so funny. I've probably watched that like six times now because it's just, it makes me laugh every time. He nailed everything perfectly. You can check out Jay Bates' channel. There'll be a link down below. You probably already know about him because he's, he's, he's phenomenal. So thank you, Jay. Like I said before, this is the 50th episode of the weekly wrap up. And most of the time it's just me and my talking head sitting at this bench. But I've had some cool guests co-host the show for me. Uh, Kyle Toth stopped by uh, for episode 24. Sean Wisniewski helped out on episode 39. And my handsome clone sat next to me on episode 49. Check this out. Kyle Toth with me. Am I saying it right? Toth? Yeah. Totally. All right. They probably want to know why you're here. Yeah, so I'm just driving across the country um, on my way to my friend's birthday. And I just love to stop at other woodworkers' you know, wood shops and see what they're all about. And today, we're out here at the Drunken Woodworkers' place. So yeah. we're drinking some beers. Today, I got my buddy Sean here. Sean, why don't you tell him who you are and what you brought? Hi, I'm Sean, um, part of the Modern Woodworkers Association, another Toledo woodworker here. Met Dave through, uh, through woodworking. 
<laughs> are you doing? Welcome to the weekly woodworking wrap up review episode number 49. I love those guys. Those guys are good dudes, especially that third one. Mm. I was also lucky enough to record this show remotely on the shores of Lake Erie for an episode and on the shores of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Check this out. We're at the family cottage just hanging out, getting ready for some 4th of July fireworks, fun, drinking, whatnot. Hello, I'm David the Drunken Woodworker and today I am with my beautiful lady friend Kelly and we are celebrating five years together on the beaches of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I just love being around water. All right, can we talk about my beard for a second? Let's talk about my beard. All right, so when I started the show, I had a beard. And on May 29th, I shaved off my beard and that terrified you guys. I got all kinds of comments and emails of, of you guys being concerned. And so since then, I have been growing it back. And here we are. I apologize, but I cannot promise you that I won't do it again. Oh well. This show would not be possible without the help of my video assistant, Chuck. And Chuck is... <laughs> Chuck's not always good with showing up on time, if he shows up at all. Uh, <laughs> and he's not real good at operating the equipment. Here are a few of my favorite Chuck moments of 2014. Can you zoom in on that so our viewers can see what's going on here? Can you zoom in on that? Chuck, you want to go ahead and just zoom in on that? Look at that. That is beautiful. Ugh. Chuck, you're doing a fine job. Thank you. That's a hot blade in there. Chuck, can you switch cameras and zoom in on that? Thank you. Yeah, so I'm very happy with this little hand plane. Chuck, can you zoom in on that? Got it? Okay. Chuck, can you zoom in on that? Before we get this started, hey Chuck, can you hand me a beer? Thank you. 15 times 12. Like that. 144 plus Come on, 12. Chuck. Chuck's not very good with math. Chuck, have you ever done math before? Kelly, it's upside down. <laughs> You're being Chuck, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Kelly has a beef with Chuck. They don't get along too well. So Chuck is finally back from his summer vacation. Chuck, welcome back. I am glad to have you back. It makes life a lot easier on me when, when Chuck's here. So Chuck, say hey. Chuck, can you go ahead and zoom in on that? Thanks, buddy. So Chuck, what'd you do this summer? <laughs> Chuck, we're done. You're an hour late. No, I don't have any beer. This is a BYOB operation, and you're supposed to show up on time. It's near Halloween. Chuck decided to shrink me. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome to the weekly woodworking wrap-up review, episode number 44. I'm your host, David Petruto, the drunken woodworker. Chuck, knock it off. Big thanks to my good friend Chuck, who shot this episode. Chuck is in town visiting. He normally works on the Drunken Woodworker. We got a guest in the shop today running the camera. Chuck's here. So Dave, he's here. He came down to ask me about the yellow thing. And we went to the bar, uh -huh. had some drinks. Yeah. Chuck was with us. First time, I didn't know Chuck was real. Yeah. What do you think of Chuck? He's a pretty wild guy. <laughs> I don't know if he's got a couple screw looses or what's going on with him, but. So, uh, man, you want to. What a guy. So let's talk about what happened last night. Yeah. So we were all drinking beers around the bar, just having a good time. And Chuck is like, Toth, I like you. I go by Toth. He's like, Toth, I like you. I want your name on me. And I was like, whoa, that's a big deal. You know? That's something yeah. for life. It's ink on your skin. And he did it. He sent me a photo this morning with my name tattooed on his butt. It was insane. <sighs> so here it is. Can you, uh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It, so it yeah, my mind. that's Chuck's ass. I hope I don't lose any subscribers. I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I mean, the name lives on, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that dude, that dude. All right. <laughs> I went through and rewatched all the episodes from the past year and picked a few of my moments from the weekly woodworking wrap up review. Here they are. Hello. I'm David Petruto, the Drunken Woodworker. I'm going to do a little weekly video on what's going on, what's happened in the past week, not only with me, 
but uh, in the woodworking community. Never drink while woodworking, never take cold medicine while woodworking, never shoot heroin before or during woodworking. Jordan sent me this beer. I can't advise you doing that. Don't send me beer. I think it's illegal to send beer. I got a couple complaints, uh, some YouTube comments and some emails saying, I love your show, but I can't watch it because your cuts are too jerky. Here's what we're gonna do about that. Make a magazine rack by the Homestead Craftsman. While making this magazine rack, he shows you a lot of good tips, a lot of different tools used to make this, but check this out. This is my favorite part of the video. This is my favorite part of any woodworking video. Watch. I'll now demonstrate the most dangerous way I could think of to route the groove in the top rail. I'll now demonstrate the most dangerous way I could think of to route the groove in the top rail. I'll now demonstrate the most dangerous way I could think of to route the groove in the top rail. Holy crap, did you see that? That was amazing and dangerous and super cool. Starting in July, I am going to do a project video every week. As some of you know, I'm a web developer for a marketing agency and this week I have stepped down from that role and I'm going to do my own thing now. Man, we got a big girthy show for you today. You can't see Canada. But you know it's over there. How do you feel about Canada, Kelly? This guy, his name is the Scroll Saw. The ghost of Elvis just knocked Roy off the wall. If I use my thickness planer and I don't clean it up right away, the cats do this. Not cool, cats. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 Weekly boom, woodworking boom, wrap up boom, review. Boom, 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 boom. I have to be careful. Every time I take a drink, it it, it creates this little wave and then gets me in the eye. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> See? How are you doing? Welcome to the weekly woodworking wrap up review episode number 42. I'm your host, David Picciuto, the shrunken woodworker. The kind of music that I listen to is not made to be listened to on top of the line speakers in an acoustically engineered room. That was fun. I watched all 49 episodes in a matter of, uh, of like a week or so. And it was, it was really cool to see my progression. Um, when I first started, it was very awkward and slow paced and just not very good. And then I, I started to get the hang of it. I could see myself like I had that aha moment where I learned how to talk to the camera and um, I got crazy. And then I kind of toned down the craziness a little bit. And, and now we're at we and now here we are this is this is where we're at and it's been a fun fun journey all right so let's get to the meat of the show these are my favorite videos of 2014 this first video sam maloof woodworking genius by the reserve channel this tells the story of one of the most influential woodworkers ever sam style is instantly recognizable. Sam is no longer with us, but his work is carried on in his shop by Mike Johnson, whom Sam trained and mentored. He'll cut that out so that each seat is its own width. They're all individually made. They're not like a production shop. And I think some people don't understand that, that even though he may do six at a time, every one of them is different. That's just a good video. That's just, oh, that's so good. All right, next video, Dilly Doo, Wooden Dildos by Dilly Doo. That is so fun to say. All right, these look like pieces of art, and this is a well done and tasteful video for a wooden dildo. And it's all handmade, and you get to see the process. To make my dildo safe, I use different kinds of oils. Then I finish them with natural coating that has been certified suitable for use. All right, next video, how to make a cat coffin the hard way by the drunken woodworker. And yep, I'm showing off my own video. It's my show, I can do what I want. This was my April Fool's video, our 20 year old cat 
makes a cameo in this video. And since I've made this video, I have given the cat coffin away to my friend Denny. I believe his kids now use it as a cram box. So that is how to make a cat coffin the hard way. Next video, Fossil Table Build by Andrew Klein. This made the list because of the unique and original design of this table. There's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. There's lots of challenges. There's some carving in there and some curved woodworking. Just great. I got to meet Andrew over the summer. He's a good dude. And so that is the Fossil Table Build by Andrew Klein. Good stuff. All right, next video that made my favorite videos of 2014, Waves of Grain by Keith Scritch. This is a time-lapse video. The wood was planed down one layer at a time and then photographed. And it really tells the story of what goes on inside a tree. Just lovely, it's so beautiful to watch. All right, moving on. How to Build a TARDIS by Steve Ramsey. This is probably the coolest project by Steve ever. It's inspired by the TV show Doctor Who. And although I don't personally watch Doctor Who, I can appreciate the passion of its fans. And just an awesome, cool build by Steve Ramsey. I've got 40 12 inch cross braces to make. I should be able to speed that up by using a stop block attached to the fence with my miter saw. Good stuff. Mm, I'm having a good time. Yes, I am. All right, moving on. Next video, A Day in the Woods by Matthew Cremona. Unfortunately, I missed this video when it first came out and I never put it in the wrap up. This is just a super well done video by a phenomenal woodworker. Matthew, I love your work. It's just a very relaxing watch and Matthew takes you through the process of going into the woods and finding a tree and milling it up. It's just, it's so relaxing. It's, it's well done and he's taking trees that are, that have already fallen or will fall soon and making projects out of them. It's, it's just so good. It's a beautiful video. I got to meet Matthew over the summer. Also a good dude. I hope I get to meet him again. So good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. Next video, Sashimono Woodwork by NHK, which is Japan's National Public Broadcast Organization. This is just beautiful hand cut joinery, something you don't see much anymore, at least this type of joinery in this part of the world these days. It's just so good. You really get the appreciation of handwork by watching this. It's just a half hour of yummy goodness. Just Excellent video. So, Sashimono Woodwork by NHK. Two pieces of wood joined at a right angle. Tenons play a vital part in this joint. When wood is joined by this method, the tenons are not visible from the outside. And then finally, my favorite video of the year might be my favorite video of all time making a case for books by frank howarth oh my goodness this is so beautiful this is super well produced it's all stop motion you don't see frank in any of it it's just a great storytelling video i really really appreciate all the hard work and effort frank puts into his videos and this one is in my opinion the best one. It's so good. It's so entertaining. I've watched it a few times. Mm. Once there were four children whose names were Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy. This story is about something that happened to them when they were sent away from London during the war because of the air raids. They were sent to the house of the old professor who lived in the heart of the country. Let's get into some stats for the weekly wrap-up videos. Over the past year, I've highlighted 227 videos from 93 different makers. Here's who I've highlighted the most. I've shown 17 videos by Steve Ramsey, nine by Carl Jacobson, eight by Frank Howarth and Jimmy Diaresta, seven from April Wilkerson, and I Like to Make Stuff, six from Make, Highland Woodworking, and MTM Wood, five from the following, KRT Wood, Garage Woodworks, Carmichael Workshop, Jay Bates, 
Darwin Ovar, Wood Whisper, and Kyle Toth. Four videos from the following. John Heise, Matt's Basement Workshop, Peter Brown, and Homemade Modern. Three videos from Cottage Life, This Woodwork, Steve French, Duche Wolf and Furniture Makers, and I've highlighted two videos in 2014 from the following woodworkers. Tim Sway, Think Woodworks, Matthias Wando, Izzy Swan, Eric Lindbergh, Wood Gears, Woodwork Web, Switch and Lever, RJB Woodturner, Matthew Cremona, The Born Maker, Renaissance Woodworker, Sterling Davis, DIY for Knuckleheads, John Peters, Show Me Woodworks, The Shaving Wood Workshop, Andrea Arznick, Paul Sellers, Ted Alexander, and Nick Ferry. There's a huge list of woodworkers and makers that I've only showed off once, and a whole bunch of people that I didn't get to show at all. And, but I promise you, if you keep making videos, I will eventually highlight you. I'm not, it's not about favoritism or anything. It's sometimes it's just bad timing. I tend to make videos that meet the following criteria. Project videos only, no tip videos. For the most part, I do not show multi-part videos. Short videos, generally under 20 minutes. I watch a lot of videos every week. And if your video is over 20 minutes, it's really hard for me to fit that into my schedule. Uh, usually non-contest or challenge videos. I show videos that have original ideas or builds, uh, th but there's always, always, always exceptions to those rules. So keep making videos and I will keep highlighting them. You guys are an inspiration to me. I love you all. It's, ah, have I said that 2014 is amazing? Mm, it's so good, so good. Ah. I'm so happy to be where I'm at, and I'm so happy with the way technology works, and I can just watch all these videos all the time. It has been an amazing, amazing year, and I wanna thank everybody, all those who've commented, emailed, sent gifts, thumbs up, donated, bought t-shirts, downloaded plans, but most importantly, just watched the videos. This, these wrap-up videos and the, the build videos. But there are eight people that I need to thank personally, and I would not be where I am professionally without them. And they include Mark Spagnolo, Steve Ramsey, Bob Claggett, Jay Bates, Jimmy Diresta, Sean Wisniewski, the folks from KenCraft, and my lovely wife. Thank you guys so much for making my dreams come true. I really, really am living the dream. I, I wake up in the morning and I get to do what I want. I get to come down to my shop and I make stuff and I film it and I give it to you guys and I do this show where I highlight other people doing woodworking videos. It's just, I'm, it's so, so fun to do what I do and I would not be here without all of you. So thank you so much. All right. <laughs> um, I like to end every show with stay passionate and make something, but today I'm going to allow some of my closest woodworking friends to do that for me. See if you can name them all. Make something. Stop thinking and just make something. Even if it's something that ends up looking like an adult play thing for the bedroom, stay passionate and make something. Don't just think about it, make something. Go make. Something. This is Diami from PenultimateWoodshop.com and the Modern Woodworkers Association. And on behalf of all of us, make something. Hey, it's Kyle Toth, just reminding you to get out and make something. I hope everyone has a great 2015 and make something. It's the Big Chopperoo and Safety Dan asking you to make, make something. something. Dude, that was my line. No, it says right here we're supposed to do it together. No, it was my line. I don't it, think so. Make something. Out of... Two by fours, if I mean, you know, if, if you want to, then you can. Make something. Hi, my name is John Heiss. Get out and build something. Get out! Make something. Hey, this is Chris Atkins of the Modern Woodworkers Association, and I want to see you make something. Make something. Today, I made a really big mess. Make something. Straight greens and sharp blades make something. Make something. Make something. Make something. Make something. What are you waiting for? Make something. So come on, get out in your shop and make something.
What he said. Make, make something. something. Make something. Hey, make something. Go get some wood. Make something. Hey guys, this is Chuck. I hope you had a great year. <laughs>